Hey, Leo, and welcome to your weekly reading. So let's dive in and take a look. We're going to cover your overarching energy, a general read. We're going to career and finance real quick, a little bit about love, and then we will close it out on what you need to keep in mind for advice. All right. So your overarching energy, what's important for Leo. Hope all is well, guys. Uh, definitely smash that like button, like and subscribe. Today's the last day for my two question read. Uh, you'll see it appear in my description box below. Okay. So if you do, if you are interested, check it out. All right. What do we have? What do we have going on for Leo here? Ooh, this is beautiful. So this has to do with your 12th house energy. So I, this is a focusing in on your spirituality. So some of you could be focusing in on that at this particular moment. Maybe that you are focusing in on spirituality and being very creative in the process, right? So look at this card. It's beautiful, okay? So this could be about maybe that uh, an opportunity for you to kind of absorb the wisdom of the galaxy. <laughs> So yeah, very beautiful guys. So it could be that you're focusing in on your dreams, escaping from the world, focusing on the subconscious, right? And your spirituality and the paranormal and that type of thing. Okay. Um, wow. It could also be is like watching out for any sort of messages or guidance coming from your dreams and your intuition. Okay. And watch out. This also talks about watching out for any sort of addictive tendencies. Okay. So be creative and artistic, and maybe it's during a particular situation that you're going through, choose silence as a means for healing and occupy yourself with psychology and spirituality, okay? So if there's something that you're going through right now, guys, um, this is what this is saying, okay? Um, give yourself enough time to retreat. And if you're not doing that, ask yourself why, and maybe perhaps uh, lead into that because, uh, there's areas of, 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 that it wants you to give yourself enough time to take a moment. So your third eye can deliver you that clarity and perception that could come through. Okay. So another area is that don't be fooled. Okay. D don't be, don't be too unrealistic and easy to fool. Okay. What area in your life are you unrealistic and easy to fool? That is something else that's coming through. Okay. But I feel just like a lot of psychology and spirituality. You could be doing research on this as well. All right. Uh, give me a little bit more that wants to come out for Leo during this time. All right. What do we get? What do we get? Yeah. See, look at this. This is interesting. Mindfulness is coming through. So mindfulness, giving that retreat, right? Uh, you know, just awareness of your thoughts and a better perspective in terms of a situation. So some of you are practicing mindfulness, meditation, that could help too. But I, I feel that uh, being present is really, really important to be graced with this uh, message that wants to come through. And maybe you're, you're kind of figuring out, should I travel or not? Should I go for it or not? Um, you know, this is saying, make the plans now, um, because a favorable, favorable outcome is in alignment. Okay. So this is actually going for it. Okay. <laughs> so some of you are, some of you are thinking about that. All right. Let's dive into your general read and see what comes out for you. Whoa. I'm going to make sure this is all right up. Okay, good. All right. So what's coming out through the read for this week? What's general read that is most important that Leo needs to be aware of during this time. Okay. What do we get for Leo during this time? What do we get? Okay. All right. So we got the seven of cups. We've got the 10 of wands and I also get, uh, let me just move this up a little bit. I don't know if that's going to help a little bit. Um, but in any event, I'll show you the cards here. There's making some sort of judgment on a situation. I feel because I get that there is uh, no more illusion and fantasy and that's being kind of carried out. The last wand is being carried out. It's a 10 letting go of responsibilities that aren't yours or stress maybe obligation or struggles or just burnout. Remember we talked about like, you know, taking time for yourself. I think that you realize I got to take time out for myself. So I'm stronger for others. I can stronger for my tribe, for my team, uh, for myself and my loved ones and my family, uh, all of that. But this is about, you know, getting rid of the illusion and fantasy about all the options you have and starting you know, and, 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 and putting an end to something. And you're focusing in on that manifestation of the thing that you want. Okay. 
So the Ace of Pentacles is really beautiful because this is an opportunity for manifestation. And then this is like a new opportunity that comes into place. So I don't know, there's abundance and your resources that are coming towards you that's going to be able to fix something. Uh, after you take a break, and you can kind of see the picture a lot more clearly. If you don't, if you don't, that, that, that keen eye and that sense of perception is not going to be able to help you. So you can't get those, uh, you can't kind of absorb, uh, you know, kind of sources, uh, you know, information, you know, from above, unless you take that moment out. So it's, it's very, very key. All right. So, but there's an opportunity for some of you, this could be a new job, a, a new, uh, uh, some money that's coming in. Give me more on this ace of pentacles for Leo. Ah, you're something that you've manifested. Now it's uh, Gemini energy coming through here. Um, and it could also even be Virgo, but I, I, to me, this tells me more about uh, you have all the resources at your disposal to manifest what it is that you want, all right? Or there could be a message coming through from an earth sign or perhaps a Gemini. Uh, what else do I get? Uh, I do get, maybe there was some sort of toxicity. I'm going to take this as it came through. Whoa. Okay, so you're letting go of the bondage of the, or, or any sort of um, holding on to something of the past, I feel. This is talking about some sort of old way of being addicted in a situation or bondage to another or a you know, person, place, or thing, and new intimacy and connection, and the wheel of fortune is changing. There's a brand new cycle that's coming into play. So for Leo, you've got, you can manifest what it is that you want. Just be careful what you manifest, that it's not something that held you back from intimacy. Because this is just another, this could be, this brings in good luck and a new beginning. Give me more on this Wheel of Fortune because that tells me a brand new beautiful beginning coming through here. So um, anything more that comes through? What do we get? Ah, you. this is about balancing and adapting to that new energy. And then I do get the Ten of Cups. Whoa. You have a, something that's going to manifest that you already have in your mind. It's going to lead you to this 10 of cups of alignment, fulfillment, and domestic harmony and security. You're just balancing it out right now. Someone might be coming towards you in this, but I feel that you can, for some of you, it's, 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 you can create the world that you want. So which do you want? Okay. Do you want to, uh, do you want to be in bondage to the past or you want, you know, the bondage to something that uh, made you addictive in some sort of way, or there could be a way of thinking uh, a person, place or thing, but, or do you want to focus on your manifestations? You can decide. And I thought we had the bottom of the deck was just, it was judgment, at least previously. But, and what I'm getting here is that it, it has to do with some sort of new beginning. Okay. A new beginning, which is a changing of a new beginning, you know, with the 10, and I get the 10 of cups, ace of cups, 10 of cups, luck, and then balancing out the adaptability surrounding that. For some of you, you know, just keep in mind, focus on your north node, not your south node, because the north node is, is karmic debts that you've already paid. You don't want to start a cycle of a brand new, what is what a brand new of something that was just repeating itself. Give me another card for this. What do we got? What, what is the message? Despondence, have faith. And what else? Perception. Yeah, you know, again, that's why it's so important that you get the rest that you need. And you, you focus on that mindfulness because it's about being able to have a keen sense of perception. Um, for some of you, this is about having faith. Something doesn't have to be perfect, all right? Something doesn't have to be perfect. This is about, you know, having faith and knowing that you're protected along the way. Your spirit guides are watching out for you and giving you guidance. And there's no need to be like, I, I get despondence in some sort of way. So the despondence is, is uh, maybe not doing anything like, like ignoring your spirit guides, like, or, or not, or, or doing something for someone when you know that they could do it themselves too. Oh, for some reason, I don't know what that is. So it could be that, yeah, it's like taking action. By taking action, you find the road. Have faith. You're going to be guided. Don't just, don't focus on perception. I, I don't know if you've been feeling stagnant. The only way out is motion. If you don't do anything, Leo, then you have to accept the consequences, right? 
So this is about doing what you can when you can. And um, are you willing to trust yourself? Accept the circumstances. Changes on the horizon. Take action. Movement. A, a revelation in movement is being an, an, an encouragement to have faith and move forward. Okay. So don't, this is saying like, hey, uh, yeah, change is on the horizon. Take action. Don't, not, don't feel that you don't have all the tools and so you just give up. Okay. That's not going to work. Okay. Hmm. When you, uh, obstacles are going to be removed when you change your relationship to them. So it's like, how do you relate to this particular issue that no longer serves you? Okay. It's like an emotional tie with someone that no longer serves you, a person, place, or thing. And remember how you relate to this issue. Because how you relate to the issue is the issue. Obstacles are really removed when you change your relationship to them. What do you need to keep in mind for this, Leo? Ooh, interesting. What do you need to keep in mind regarding this? This is key for nature's timing. Things will occur in proper order, okay? And, and when the time is right, do not try to control the situation. Do not try to make it perfect, all right? What else do you need to know? How to manifest. State the thought of what you want. Like, I am wealthy. I am I am on, on my path to my dreams. I'm making beautiful progress and my dreams are just, are just there. I've almost made, I'm almost there. Right. So this is basically saying is like, I know they're there. There's right around the corner. It's just a matter of time. All right. I'm taking inspired action and you know that it's done. All right. So align and receive and follow your bliss by creating your, you know, new direction. Okay. There's no room for fear-based decisions here, guys. Your creativity is too strong. There's a new direction where your heart and mind come together and it's time for you to move on that. All right. Anything more in your general read here? What do we get? What do we get? Talk shop. You might be talking to others about what you want to do. Clear the path because it's ready for you and be grateful. Oh my gosh. You're talking to someone and you're clearing the path to get that organization that comes into play and you're being grateful. I almost feel like this is like your spirit guards are washing over you are watching over you here. It's so great. Oh my gosh. So at talk shop, you could be talking with others about the next steps that you need to take within the situation. Let's go ahead and focus on career and finance and see what comes out for you here. Career and finance for Leo. Is there anything that wants to be said in career and finance uh, for Leo? What do we get? Make sure the deck is upright. What do we get for Leo? One more shuffle. Whoa. Hmm. Interesting. Give me another one. All right. What do we have for Leo? Career and finance. What do we get? A surprise comes through and a message. All right. And it's going to allow you to persevere. Like you're, this is being calm, intuitive and compassion and persevering and not giving up. A surprise came about. What is this tower coming through? All right. Uh, something having to do with your independence, your independence. Um, it wants you to persevere. There's something having to do with your independence is going to be important and being in gratitude for what you have calm, intuitive, and compassionate, but persevering. All right. What else? Even though things cannot be seen at this moment. So in your finances, it's like, there's a surprise you've been having. It has to do with your, your ability and your independence. And it's about, this is wealthy. It has to do with your wealth. All right. Give me a card on this nine of pentacles. And this is about making movement forward, motioning forward, motioning forward uh, on your independence, motioning forward with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is about efficient everyday thing, doing the hard working, having the commitment. It's to get the independence that you want, it's movement forward and having the commitment. And what else? It could be getting a message from a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo about movement forward is going to be key about your manifestations. And that's what's going to balance something out. This is same movement, guys. It's it's kind of repeating there in terms of that, but it's equal give and take. Someone could be helping you out or, or someone's going to provide some sort of generosity. I do get earth energy coming through, okay? Um, give me more on the six of pentacles. What do we get? Yeah, it's going to put an end to some sort of loss, all right, in the way of thinking. And it wants you to get the rest that you need to do this transform transformation because you'll be making some great progress in it. Could be dealing with a queen of pentacles. Um, 
or it, this is about bringing in harvest. Be careful where you place your energy, effort, and time, and that's what's going to be very key. So careful with that, all right? Um, anything more that wants to come through? What do you need to persevere towards? Uh, what's going to help you? A message? Uh, uh, you need to persevere to overcome an old perception that needs to change in your mind. For some of you are thinking that... Uh, uh, that you know you're thinking like a page when you are you know you're, you should be an emperor or a queen okay an emperor or an empress okay it's or even the, 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 the and this is what I'm getting something needs to change as it pertains to legacy as it really pertains to bringing in legacy for yourself it's a new strategy is going to be necessary for you to bring in the legacy of the money that you want anything else because things are hidden right now uh, anything else can help you birthing of something new some of you are start going in a new direction. If you go into a new direction or offer a new product, uh, it's going to bring in some sort of balance to you here. Uh, this could be something that's going to rejuvenate the current position that you're at right now and avoid some sort of emotional loss. So, or you know, it's something that makes that that it's like something that brings in balance. All right. So, justice, Libra energy, and um, yeah, birthing something new creatively. That is, could help bring in some sort of justice and evoke and avoid any sort of emotional loss. Why is this important? You need to make the decision because the decision needs to be made to have faith and move forward so it can bring stability to your home. You have to listen to your subconscious as well because the high priestess is coming through. It's giving you signs about making a decision of having faith to bring in balance. You can do it. Guys, if you're feeling like I am up in my air, you know, again, just kind of like this card here. You, you can take control over this is what this is saying. It can help you. Uh, what do you need to know about your career in finance uh, coming through here? What do you need to know? Okay, interesting. I'm going to pull a card on this. Some of you have been working really, really hard. In fact, you're working too hard. If you've been a workaholic, hold on a second. I'm going to pull some cards on this. Knight of Swords. This is about communication. If you've been like a workaholic lately, because this has to do with your spirituality and that type of thing, I feel that um, one of the most powerful manifesting energies, you're, it's like, uh, you, I don't know, you're, pro, you're prolific in some sort of way. Okay, Leo? And what you're creating stalls and you have to recharge and you have to know your limits. Yeah. You can't just race through something. You're being asked to take a moment, okay? If you're working too much and you're suffering from burnout, uh, that's important to get the meditation, okay, all of that there. But is there something important that you're avoiding doing? Because this is saying is um, it's like you are supposed to focus on not being fulfilled by work, heed the warnings and refresh your mind to improve your work. If you've been trying to stall at something, you, a lot of you guys haven't been able to make some money because you've been working too hard. I'm getting the card of the workaholic, all right? And this is moving coming in fast. Like, take a break. This is saying to take a break. Why is this important in your career in finance? Because it's going to give you the ability to create what is necessary and get those spiritual downloads, okay? So... It's going to allow you to let go of the old ideas that aren't working so new ideas can come through and make more money for you. And this is, this is primary now, guys. The mission that you may have been on may be complete, and there's a new dawn that's coming. So it's time to open yourself up to new inspiration. Uh, you know, it's going to let go. Uh, you know, uh, it, that's what I get here. You no longer need to be the warrior. This is what I'm getting. It's like you, you just, this is about just being creative in your own way of being. Like your path is artistic, Leo. All right. Express your love in an art form. It's time to make decisions. And this is divine feminine energy, like the creativity, the music, and the magic. That's why we've got the Empress card coming through. You've got to, this is like something about creative and a new project. Okay. Let's take a look in a little bit of love and see if anything wants to come through for you, real quick. What do we get in love? that comes through uh, for Leo. What do we get? Love for Leo. What comes through for love? Okay. Ten of wands, three of cups. Ah, all right. Some of you that are single, you might find love in the community and with, with others around you in your friendship group. Uh, but it's about putting an end to the past and of, of the ten of wands. And that would be like, 
you know, the responsibility or burning out and the struggles and the stress, you're getting together with others and collaborating. This is, you know, teamwork, collaboration. This is, uh, you know, focusing in on celebration, social events, making friends, gathering, and that's going to bring in that new vitality that you need to transform, right? And balance out the yin and the yang energy here. This is going to help you. So in your love life, you, your new vitality is what's going to be key. All right. Um, yeah, this is what's going to be key. So you need to do that. Anything else in your love life? I get emperor energy. Um, I get the wheel of fortune. Wow. So I feel that, you know, that is this Aries energy coming through here. So this is about getting a strong, solid foundation is necessary. So that new vitality is going to create that strong, solid foundation for the changing of luck and the five of cups. If you've been disappointed in love before, and you want something on the strong, solid foundation, what is it that we need? Um, you're taking a break with the hangman. And I do get a message coming through. So it is um, an energetic, fresh idea, being extroverted and, and cheerful about the two of cups, about moving forward in love. If you've been feeling stagnant in love and trying not to get, try, can't get something on the ground, off the ground, this is the wheel of fortune coming through that's saying good luck is on your side to overcome the disappointments uh, because you've, you've taken a break. And it's going to bring forth fresh energetic ideas for growth and bring in unity. It could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I get uh, fire energy as well and a lot of water coming through here. Okay. Uh, a lot of water. Yeah. Wow. You're putting something, you want something on strong, solid foundation, but you've got to be strong on your solid foundation. Okay. Any, any information that's going to be necessary for you in your love life, visualize, see yourself already achieving what it is that you want. And then I do get it's manifested. Wow. See yourself achieving what it is that you want. And your desired reality comes through. Some of you could be meeting someone very, very soon here. Okay. It could be within the next two months is what I'm getting. All right. If, if you're not connected with someone, but I do get a lot of water here. I get a lot of fire energy coming through here as well, guys. Okay. Uh, who's coming towards you? What you need to know. Uh, for those of you that didn't maybe relate to that, who's coming towards you? What you need to know. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is going to be coming forward and offering some sort of love and wants to cultivate something new. Uh, and I do get the two of cups in a different deck. So just so you know, you might have a choice to make. Give me a card in the two of cups. They might want to come together. What is this two of cups? Emperor energy. Now I'm getting the person coming towards you. It's th th There could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that could be coming through. They could have a little bit of earth and, and water in their chart as well. Um, and a little bit of fire, but this is about putting something on strong, solid foundation is what I get. Someone wants coming forward, wants to cultivate and put something on a strong, solid foundation. There could be a, a little bit, um, give me more on this. What's, what do we need to know about this person coming towards Leah? It's about a, a successful completion about, and you're thinking about it and it's about breaking free and using your guidance system for this. All right to put something on you're, you're focused on your stability right now. You're being asked to focus on your stability. All right. So I'm telling you, there's, there's new inspiration that you've got new inspiration right now. And I feel that, you know, the person coming towards you, um, uh, broken heart, new inspiration. Give me a little bit more on this. It was someone that you probably had some sort of broken heart with, but I do get a wish fulfillment coming through. You're going to have a choice. Because coming towards you is someone that has had their heart broken, all right, and um, they're breaking free of some sort. But I feel that I feel that this is it's it's leads to a wish come true. You're gonna have a choice, and I almost I almost feel that whatever the person, so whatever the person that's coming towards you, they've had some sort of broken heart in the past. I don't know, maybe they got out of some sort of marriage, all right. But I feel that uh, they see you. I mean it's about uh, they're transforming. So you're going to know who that is, right? And something's come to fruition. Hmm. Anything else? Abundance. Who's the person that uh, previously? You're going to have a choice. You're going to have a choice. They're, it's like I get abundance in both areas. Someone's going to be wanting to work with you and is going to teach you how to make abundance. 
They're going to tell you that abundance comes, do not be complacent in some sort of way. Uh, anything else uh, that you'll need to know about the person coming towards you? What do we get? Hmm. They're very creative. And they also, they, they could be, it's, you could meet them on your spiritual career in the process. This is what I'm getting. Okay. All right. Well, any final advice here for Leo that wants to come through? Let's take a look. Any final advice for Leo that would be important for Leo to keep in mind regarding the situation? Hmm. Interesting. Anything, uh, any final advice for Leo? You've got new insight right now. And because you're on this wheel of fortune, you've been reawakened in some sort of way. And you're developing a ritual that bring, keeps you grounded, okay? And just don't, to make sure that you're not overburdened. And it's going to allow you to remain kind in matters of the heart. It's, you know, it's like a heart here. It's like um, you've got new insight. And you've been reawakened in some sort of way. Just make sure you don't overburden yourself because it allows you to keep the, to keep, you know, focusing on the kindness and over, over, you know, observe when you become overburdened and maybe, you know, and, and it wants you to keep that in mind, but gather with others is going to be key. Okay. And, uh, yep. Then you come out at the very end, focusing in on building your inner strength. Okay. Continue mastering your skill and improving your inner strength. I'm going to leave it there, guys. All right. Note your comments, like, and subscribe. And if you, today's the last day for that two question read. If you're interested, it's up here or my description box below. And I see it. I'll see you next time. Namaste.